Hi guys, welcome back once again to Retest Fashion TV. I hope we are all doing great. If today your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you're so very welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, God bless. Much appreciate your time with us. On today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful cut together wrap dress. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and share with your friends. And if you're here to my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit the subscription button so that you get notified each time I upload new video because I have loads and loads of beautiful and wonderful videos coming on this channel very soon. Please do stay with us to the end of today's tutorial. Let's go there. All right, guys, to sew that material, that style, this is the material that we need. This is, um, we call this Lycra. The Lycra material is four-way stretching. I have two yards here. I have my pin, I have my chalk, and I have my tape. This is all I need to sew this style. So I folded my fabric. To fold our fabric, you will use the widest measurement, which is the hip. So for this zip, I'm working with is hip 40. So this is 40 for this back piece. I'll just divide it into two. My hip divided by two. That will give me 20. So that's what I will have here. So I'm going to mark my 20 all the way, starting from this down part. I'll make sure that this is my hip. My clothes is, I have my 20. I have 20, plus one is for seven and a half. So I have 21 inches. This is complete. So I've been ascertained that I folded what I need in my fabric. The next thing is to take the full length of my gown. The full length of this gown is 55, plus one is for allowance. That is the six. So I'll mark 56. And then I'll come to this upper part and mark my 56 yard the full length end. So this is my 56. It's like a material. So whenever I'm marking it, I have to be careful. Then I'll take it on this other side. I'll mark my 56 down here too. Then I'll connect the lines and that will form my shoulder line. Connect the lines together and that will form my shoulder line. So it's on this shoulder line now. I'll start taking all my measurements. My shoulder measurement is other measurements that I need. So here I have it, my shoulder line. So it's on this shoulder line, I'll start taking all my other measurements and go down. So on this shoulder line, I'm going to be taking the shoulder measurement. The shoulder is 15 inches, which is seven and a half plus half inch sewing allowance. That's eight inches. I'll mark my eight inches here. Then I'll take the armhole. The armhole is nine inches. Then I'll take the shoulder measurement on this part again, which is 8 inches. Then I'll connect the two lines together. So on this part, I'll be taking my Keep my bust measurement. The bust of this bust I'm showing is 36 plus one is showing allowance. So that's what I have there. Then I'll form my armholes on that part. So because this is the back piece, I'm not shaping any armhole. So I'll just form my armhole. That's my armhole. The half length of this clothes is 15 inches. So I'll mark 15 inches this way. I'll mark 15 inches on this part too. Then on this half length, I'm going to be taking the hip measurement divided by two. 
that's what I'm going to be taking on this half length. So the hip measurement divided by two, like I told us, is 20 inches. 20 inches plus one inch for sewing. So 21 inches. That's what I have. I will mark it down. So I will bring down my half length on where that is 15 inches and on that 21 and a half inches and so I'll have something like this. So I'll connect this half length now together. This is what we have. Then I'm going to be bringing down this my first measurement on this part. Remember what we have there is 10 inches. So I'm going to be marking this 10 inches on this half length. Then I'll connect the lines together. So having connected the lines this way, I'm going to do a blunting out because this place should not be sharp. I'm going to do something like this. So you can see, after connecting them, I'm going to shape it this way. So this place will not be sharp. So I went ahead and blunt it out. I hope you can see it very well. See how it is. I blunted it out. So this will connect back to this. 21 so i'm going to be taking this 21 now all the way to the full length of this cam. so we're going to be taking our 21 on this down part i'll take my 21 inches i'll connect them to the full length of this ground so i'll use my ruler wrong ruler now to connect from this place to this place From here, I've connected this 21 inches all the way to the full line. So, having done this, the next thing I'm going to do now is to work on my neck. So, for this back neck, I'm using 3 inches. And for the down part, I'm using 1 and a half. 1 and a half by 3 inches. Remember, like I said, this is the back piece that we are cutting first of all. So I'll be using this to form my neck. Well, this is like a lot of not easy because of the stretchiness of the coat. So you have to steady your hand. Then I'll connect it to this way. And then this back piece is ready. The next thing is to go ahead and cut it down. Let me take us once again to what we did. We folded our fabric. We folded our fabric to be sure that our fabric covers the hip measurement of the customer divided by two plus sewing allowance. So the hip measurement of this customer is 40 and 40 divided by two give us 20 plus one is sewing allowance, that's 21. So having ensured that, the next thing I did was to take the full length of my gown, which ended here. Then on this place, I draw my shoulder line and I use it to measure my shoulder, which is seven and a half plus half inch that will give us eight inches then after measuring my shoulder i've got my showed my armhole line and then i took my bust measurement which is 36 9 plus one is sewing allowance then i came down to take my half length remember which is 15 inches and it's on this half length that you will take your board your hip measurement divided by two which is 20 inches that's what i took here 20 inches plus one is sewing allowance, that's 21. And then where this bust line connects to this half length, I, I did a small curve. 
because I don't want this place to be too sharp. Then this 21 inches, I took it all the way to the full length of this gown. And that's all. That's what I'm going to be cutting out now. So let's cut. Let's cut. To cut this clothes, start from my neck. So, uh, so the next thing I want to cut now is the front. So for me to cut the front, I'll measure how the length I want. For this, I want to use 17 inches length. So I'll mark my 17 inches here. I'll take it to this place. Mark my 17 inches. So I will now draw my shoulder line on that place. So, having drawn my shoulder line here, yeah. so the first thing I'm going to be determining is how deep I want this cow neck to be. I'll measure what I have on this For this particular cow neck, I used one. 10 inches. So you can use the 8 if you don't want it to be too deep five, or 11 inches. Five. That depends on you. So from I'm going to be measuring 525 this way. Follow me. I measure 525 this way. I will mark the I'll connect it together like this. So from where this five and um, whatever ends, I'm going to be marking marking seven inches. Is this seven inches I'm going to be using to form my armhole line? So on this seven inches, I'm going to be taking my bust measurement, which is 10 inches plus one inch for three minutes. I'll make it 11 inches. I'll mark it here. So from here to here, I'll be forming my um, hole. Follow me, you understand this. So I'll use my hand hole for my hand hole line from here. I said when you are cutting like that, you have to be very careful because it can stretch and grab. So this is what I have. Then I'm going to be bringing the measurements down on this half length, which is 10 inches. Markets, then I'll use my ruler. So, this is all I have. So, I'm going to be checking if what I have on this angle is corresponding with what I have here. Is this angle now we are going to be using to cut this one? So, can you see it? It's corresponding. So, this is where our cone is ending. So, Okay. So if I want to cut now, I'm going to be cutting this way, cut like this, and then I will cut out. Then this will join to my shoulder to form the shoulder. Cut it out. I've cut it out. So remember this is where our shoulder ends. 
I will notch it. I'll give it small notching. So we use it to make just thinking notching. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to join the shoulders. So we'll bring the back that we cut first of all. We'll match the shoulders. This is the back. This is the front. So remember, our shoulder starts from here and ends there. So I'm going to be matching it together from this beginning to this where our notching ends. And that's where our shoulder ends. See it. I'll go and sew it down. This other side, I'll take this part. See where my shoulder notching is. I will match it with this one, then I will join it together like this with half inch sewing allowance. I will join it and then I'll come and show you. I will sew it down with half inch sewing allowance. By the time we join it, finish, we'll have something like this. So, can you see our helmet coming out so beautifully? So let me join it and show us the next thing to do. So you can see I've joined the shoulder, joined the two shoulders, and I've gone ahead to hem the neck. Okay, so this is what we have after joining our shoulder. The next thing is to attach our sleeve. After attaching our sleeve, we we'll go ahead and close the side to so we'll end on the same place. On this side, this one will end with this one and the same. On where the cuff is, I'll come and show us. So, so guys, this is what we have. I've joined the sleeve, as you can see. I've joined two, two sleeves, and I've pulled it by the side. Side. So the only thing remaining now is for us to go ahead and attach our rope. I've cut my rope already. I'm going to be attaching the rope on this end side. I'll attach it on this side. And I'll attach the second one on this other side. I'll attach the second one on this other side. Because this is a lifer material, so I'm not bothering myself with holding the head piece off, so I'll leave it like that. So I'll attach it on this side, and then the clothes is ready, I'll put it on the dummy and show So my wonderful people, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you're so loving it. Please go ahead and try this out. You can see how beautiful our gown is coming out. Please, my people, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It will really encourage us to know that we are doing what you people like. And also comment on it. Ask any question that you have. I will gladly answer you. Also, share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for staying with us on this channel. And if today is your first time of dropping by, woo, you're so very welcome. I so much appreciate your time with us. And if you are a returning subscriber, Kudos, kudos, and one poser for you. Thank you so much for always staying with us on this channel. Till I see you again in my next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.